Welcome to today's sew along. Today we're going to be putting together the brand spanking new sewing pattern for our slip on hoodie. The goal behind this hoodie was for me to try and create our easiest possible hoodie pattern. You actually don't need anything more besides the fabric and sewing thread which makes it really so much easier just to start and less confusing. And it's just made up of a few sections. The sleeve, the front and back sections, which you cut both on the fold of the fabric, the front bodice cuff and the back bodice cuff, also both cut on the fold of the fabric. The sleeve cuff, cut two. The front pocket, cut one on fold of fabric. And then the hoodie, hood section. The hood is the only section where you need to cut two for fabric and then two for lining. It's the only section that actually needs lining. To start, I think we start with the hood section because that seems to be the most troublesome part for a lot of our followers. Which you'll see is actually really quite easy the way we put it together for you. So now for both the hood, main fabric and lining sections, with the right sides of the fabric facing. Sew along the center back. So you'll be joining it from the bottom of the neck over here, keeping a standard 1.5 centimeter or 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. You're going to be sewing around this curve, around the back to the front top section of the hood over here. You'll be doing that for the fabric and the line. So at the base of the neck, so around the curve up to the top front of the hood. Once you've done that, you can press open that seam because it's going to be hidden in the line. You don't have to actually worry about surging or overlooking it. Then the little front section here, this little front section, you're going to sew closed as well. Just sew that closed, right sides of fabric facing, and press that seam open once you've done that that for both lining and main fabric sections. Once you've done that, we can do the next step. Right, so once you have sewn and pressed those two sections, you're then going to take the hood lining section and turn it right side out. And once you've done that, you're going to slip it inside of the main hood fabric. Make sure when you've cut this that you've cut the fabric with the max stretch or going along the length of the, the hood opening at the bottom. Okay. So slide that lining into the main hood fabric so that it is right sides face Then at the opening, front opening, we're going to line up the seams. Make sure right sides of fabric are facing one another. We're going to line up the seams, pin it into place. And then line up the fabric, raw fabric edges all the way around that front opening and just pin it into place. 
And you're gonna stitch that together all the way around with the standard seam allowance. There we go. And once you've done that, what you're going to do now is take your hood, turn it right side out. So you know, only see the right sides of the fabric. fabric. Tuck that lining inside. Now you'll see here in the areas of the curve it might bunch a bit. So what all you need to do there is clip along the seam in the curve. So use a small embroidery scissors and clip along that seam. Just to make sure that your hood sits better once it's right side out. All along that curve, just give it a little clip. There you can see the side where I've clipped it will already sit much better than the side where I haven't. So along the edge here, what you're going to do is make sure that the seams sit plush and then you're going to stitch it flat about five millimeters or an eighth of an inch near the edge all the way around. Then along the bottom which is the neckline of the hood you're going to just baste the two fabrics together so you're going to line them up make sure the raw edges are lined up and all the seams and they're lined up neatly you're just going to baste along that raw edge to make sure that it stays in place as you finish sewing right and there you go once you've completed the hood section of your hoodie you're now going to move on to doing the pocket section. So with the wrong side of the fabric facing up towards you, you're going to take your pocket section like this, with the wrong side of the fabric facing upwards. Along the top, fold over the fabric by 3 eighths of an inch, or that's about 1 centimeter and then press this into place and use a little bit of starch in your spray water that you use for pressing to make sure it stays in place then once you have done that along the diagonal section so this diagonal section will be the opening for your pockets so along that diagonal section fold the fabric over towards the wrong side by about five millimeters or that is one eighth of an inch and then you're going to press that flat do that on both sides you're going to fold it over by five millimeters or one eighth of an inch and you're going to press that flat once you have pressed flat you're going to then fold it over a second time you're going to fold it over the second time by one centimeter or three eighths of an inch and press that flat and once you have folded over and pressed it the second time you're then going to stitch that flat you're going to stitch that section into place and then yep yeah, once you've done that you are ready to do the next step okay so once you've done it once you've pressed along the top and the openings and you've stitched those openings flat you're then going to be attaching your pockets to your front bodice section. So grab your front bodice section and display in front of you with right sides of the fabric facing upwards. So right sides of fabric facing upwards. You're then going to take that pocket section that you just finished and with the wrong side of the fabric down Placing down, you're going to attach it to the bodice section. First, line up the bottom and then pin that into place.
Once you put it place, line up the short section on the side seams and pin there. Then what you're going to do is along the sides, the bottom and the other side, you're going to be you're going to be basting along the so you can just use a loose base stitch to baste everything together. Then once you've done that, just lay out the rest of the parking neatly onto the bodice. And just along this top section, from the end of the pocket opening on this side to the end of the pocket opening on that side. So just along that top pocket section, you're going to stitch that pocket flat onto the bodice. And that will be your pocket finished and attached. And then the next step, once you've done that, once you have finished attaching that pocket, grab your main bodice cuff section. So you're going to have your front cuff section and your back cuff section. Now, you see these V markings, those V's are the side seams of the cuffs. So, with right sides of fabric facing one another, so right sides of fabric against each other, you take your cuff sections, sew them closed at the side seams. So in these V's, you're going to sew them closed. And you're going to keep a standard 5 eighths of an inch or 1 centimeter seam allowance. Then take your then take your sleeve cuff. So it's getting all the cuffs prepared now to attach to the body of your bodice. So take your sleeve cuff and then right sides of fabric facing. So that's your sleeve cuff there. Right sides of fabric facing. Fold the cuff in half. Like so. So not along the fold line, but opposite to that. So you're going to be folding in half opposite to that fold line because that fold line is for just now. Okay, and fold it in half and then you're going to stitch that closed with the standard seam allowance. When you've done that, press those seams and you're ready for the next step. Right, then once you've done that, you can do the next step for the cuffs. And that is, for the main bodice cuffs at the bottom, in these actual V's, so in the V's at the sides, they're going to take a pair of small embroidery scissors and in that very center V, just clip open the seam. This is just going to allow for your cuff to sit more neatly once it is done. So just clip in that seam. And once you've done that, press the seam open. And you'll see it already will sit much more flat now that you've clipped into that V of the cuff. So press that seam open. Then once you've pressed the seam open for the cuff for the bodice, you're going to then fold it so that it's wrong sides of fabric facing. You're going to fold the cuff in half along the fold line. So fold the cuff in half along the fold line. Press that flat. Once you press that flat, then just baste the cuff closed along the top. 
and then it will be ready to be attached to the bodice. And you only need to baste about 5 millimeters from the edge. So just a loose base stitch based along the raw opening seam. As you can see, I've already done a chair for one of the arm cuffs. Is once I've done it, I pressed open the seam and I pressed it flat, and then I fold the cuff along the fold line, same as the main bodice cuff. I fold along the fold line with wrong sides of the fabric facing. And that's just enclosing that seam that, so that you don't see it. So fold that wrong sides of the fabric facing and then I baste it along the top edge so I baste it close. And then that's ready to be pressed and then I can add it to the sleeve. Now with the bodice, I'm going to be adding, attaching the front and back sections. So take your bodice, your front bodice section, your back bodice section, and then right sides of the fabric facing. So right sides of the fabric facing, you're going to match up the shoulder seams, then you're going to attach the front and back bodice sections together along the shoulder seams using a standard seam allowance. Once you've stitched those seams, then press them flat and overlock or serge them. If you're not going to, if you don't have an overlock or a serger, you can use a French seam to enclose it. Right, so once you've attached your front and back bodice sections, you're then going to be attaching your sleeves. So grab your sleeve pieces and then right sides of fabric facing. You're going to be attaching the sleeve cap, which is this curve, to your armhole. So match up this front markings, match up the marking on the sleeve to that seam. And match up the two back edges. Okay then once you've done that then line up the the seam because you're using a, a knit fabric you can stretch the main bodice section nicely to fit put the sleeve cap. If you're not using a stretch fabric which I really don't recommend for this pattern uh, what you would do is then you would just use a small embroidery scissors and clip along that main sleeve section just to get, be able to stretch it out a bit to match the sleeve cap. But because we are luckily working with stretch fabrics, it's much easier just to stretch that bodice to fit. Serge or overlock and press it flat for neatness when you are done. Now that you have attached the sleeves and you have overlocked and pressed that seam, you are going to sew close the side seams. First you're going to match up the fabric at the hip, pin it into place, match up the seam at the arm, pin that into place, then line up your fabric and then on the sleeve from the sleeve hole down to the wrist line up your fabric and pin it all together. You're going to sew from the hip up to the seam here in the armhole down to the wrist. And you're going to do that on both sides. You're going to press that seam and overlock it. And then all that's left to do after that is to add your cuffs and your hood and your hoodie is finished. So once you've done that you're going to now be inserting your cuff. So grab one of those finished cuffs from earlier. I'm going to take it and slip it into the arm. Once you've done that, line up the seams, 
So the seam of my cuff and the seam on the, the arm. Lining up and putting those into place. Now you'll see the cuff is quite a bit smaller than the actual hole of the arm. So what you need to do is stretch that cuff to make it fit. Now it's very important that you do this and then you pin that cuff into place. Now, a very important reason to do the pinning now is put as many pins in as you can all along the length, the width. So put in as many pins as you can all along that stretched area. Once you've done that, double check your work and see that once you are going to sew it, you'll be able to see now if it's going to be evenly gathered. And you want it to gather as evenly as possible. So put in as many pins as necessary to secure that cuff into the sleeve and to make sure that once it's stitched, those gathers are as even as possible. Remember to use the stretch stitch function when you're sewing machine and working with knits. Right, so once you've done that, once you've finished pinning the cuff into the sleeve, you're then going to stitch them together using a standard seam allowance. Then you're going to press it and overlock that seam to finish it off. There you have it, your cuffs are attached. Only two things left to do. Firstly, you're going to be attaching the bottom cuff to the bodice. So take your hoodie, turn it right side out. Then take your cuff that you completed earlier and along the bottom on the right side of the fabric you're going to match up the side seams and the center front and the center back and then you're going to pin that cuff onto there again the cuff might be slightly smaller than the bodice so just stretch it to fit And once you pin that into place, you can sew that using a standard seam allowance and to finish it off you're going to press and overlock that seam. Then I'm going to be attaching the hood. So to attach the hood, you're going to turn your bodice back so it's wrong side out. So wrong side out. Then you're going to take your hood and insert that into the bodice. Well, first I suggest finding your center front and your center back of your neck hole on the bodice itself. So just find that center front and center back and put a pin there so you know where it is. Once you have that center front, center back, insert your hood and line up its front and back seams with those pins that you just put in. There again, just stretch the hood slightly to fit the neck hole. Pin it into place. Once it's pinned into place, you're going to stitch it with the standard one and a half centimeter or five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Press it and overlock to finish, and then your hood will be done. There you have it. Your slip-on hoodie is now complete and ready to wear. Please feel free to share your creations with us on Twitter at my sewing pattern or on Instagram at Bula Heart. Enjoy and happy sewing!